over Miami, led by a couple of freshmen in Deron Holmes and a New York City point guard in Malachi Smith. Dayton wins the tip. This is Malachi Smith handling, and we are underway. People that follow Dayton understand one thing. His brother was a terrific player, played for Archie Mellon. They went to the tournament four years in a row. Scoochie with Smith was an outstanding guard. Holmes swings it. And Blake the trying to show shot. some patience. Shot clock at five. Weaver fires too strong. Rebound Martin. Weaver's a kid that played at Southern Cal. He played in this tournament previously when he played for Southern Cal. They're very young looking at the day. Twelve kids are classified as freshmen because of COVID. I'm going to get the extra year. That's the second most in the country to Arizona. That's 13. Yeah, Tommy Lloyd's got his work cut out for a nice move by Christian Brown, who's coming off a 16-point performance in the win against North Texas. There's Holmes. He's fouled, and they get Brown on that one. Brown had to score it down to the other end with a good drive for the basket. Bill Self told me he really likes this team. Watch Brown right here. He's going to go down the lane. A strong to the goal. He's a good three-point shooter. Bill Self told me he thinks this team, in relationship to last year, has really terrific potential. He feels that by the middle of the year, he'll get back playing the kind of defense that he wants them to play. He said he wants to play a lot better as a team defensively, but offensively, we can be very, very efficient. Ron Holmes, the freshman missing the first, as he is the highest ranked recruit that the Dayton program has ever landed, a top 50 recruit. Yeah, and as you said so well, he had a big game against Miami. Abadji was looking for the lob, but that one swatted away by Jumani Kamara. You know, Kamara blocks that shot. He played at Georgia, and he was a real good player down there for Tom Cream. Rebound, score, a veteran player, one of the veteran guys on the team. Abashi looked up and said, don't you know who I am? I'm third leading scorer in the country. You're blocking my shot? Come on now. I'm a PTP. Let's see if they can get David McCormick involved. Bill Self is a little frustrated with McCormick. Just three points and two rebounds against North Texas. Yeah, he said, we got to get more in the post. You're right, John. They got to get more in the post from him. And Martin aggressively to the rim. Remy Martin is fouled, and he will go to the line. Talk about an impact player. Came the route of... Arizona State, I'm sure Bob Hurley wasn't happy to see him leave. Part of that transfer portal, which is, of course, chaos. They're really strong to the goal. He's got great scoring ability. He's been battling a little bit of a back problem. How about this? In the Power Five conferences, all but four teams use the transfer portal this offseason. So, I mean, everybody is using it. The only teams, Purdue, Villanova, Stanford, UConn, those are the only teams that didn't for this year. Well, maybe people should follow Purdue because I'll tell you right They're now, good. they are really good. Terrific. You had them, right? I did, yeah. Yeah, I watched it. Did a great job in that call up there. Beat Carolina, beat Villanova. Yep. I mean, really, Matt Painter's got a terrific team. That club is going to really be tough to beat in the Big Ten. And they are big. They got size, they got good guard play. Edie Williams inside. A lot of patience to try to show. Very young team. I mean, they, they got talent, Dane. That's the one good thing. They have some good young talent. Kamara gets the miss and puts oh. it up, and it's off the rim. Loose ball, Abaji on the floor. Good hustle right there by the club. Come on, ref, blow the whistle. Blow the whistle before he gets out of control. And possession arrow, and it'll go the other way. So Kansas basketball, they lead early 3-1. Our first semifinal, John Shambi, Dick Vitale. And there he is, the Hall of Famer, Bill Self. He's got a lifetime contract. They love him in Jayhawk land. He's done a little winning in his career. Just a little. <laughs> a little winning in his career. Sixth among actives. Harris breaks the pressure. Abaji. Inside, wow. high off the glass and in, shot That was an easy deuce. Good pressure from Kansas. Oh. Blakey not able to save it, almost a steal, and then 
goes over and says hi to Chris Tyson, the SID for Kansas. Watch, watch it. Just between the legs, make a little reverse. He picks up the loose ball, and there's the reverse layup. Great play by Abashi. Hang with that and stay with it because it looked like it was going to be turnover city. Abaji pull up. Got it. Abaji for three. He's a solid goal, man. He's a solid goal, PTP. now last year he was a PTP, but now we put a little solid goal in front of that man. Well, he started the year. Timmy Donner at Gonzaga. By the way, tonight is Duke. That's going to be fun. 10:30. Wow. Eastern. Number one, number five. Gonzaga and Duke. The Baji ball fake just inside the three-point line. And McCormick offensive rebound. The big guy is fouled. He'll go to the line. They want to That's see what the, Bill Self wants. Yeah, exactly what you said earlier. They're not happy with the way he's been performing on the inside. He's too good, too talented. And Bill's trying to motivate him. And this will help him right here. Maybe he goes, shows a little aggressiveness. A little offensive rebound there. Now he's going to go to the free throw line. You know, you mentioned that game, Duke and certainly Gonzaga. You get the two probably best diaper dandies in the country. And Holgram and certainly Mangaro. And Mangaro came very close to going to Gonzaga. He's from Seattle. Can you imagine if you would have joined that team? They'd enter the NBA. I had a chance to see Gonzaga at home against Texas, and they were impressive at Spokane. Well, the game I had the other night, Holgram to me is the most unique Seven footer I have ever seen in my 43 years sitting here for ESPN. Wow. His skill set is off the charts. Obviously, the first argument you get from people, he's got to get stronger. Oh, really? I know he's got to get stronger, but the people he's playing against better get stronger because he's dominating them. Weaver feed inside Kamara and rejected. Harris give off Martin, top of the key. Guys. Put up 95 in Fog Allen for his coach and player finally united. Dick, I'm curious, what do you think of the Remy Martin fit in a Kansas uniform? Well, I think he fits anywhere with his talent and ability, Chris. He's such a scorer. He's more a scorer than he is a true point guard. They're playing him at the point slot, but he's going to help anybody. Tremendous talent on the collegiate level. I feel bad in a way for Arizona State losing a kid who they have for a couple of years. But that's the way of life now with the transfer portal. I mean, that's the way of life. Maybe when you're at West Point, who knows? You play a point guard for the cadets up there. Maybe you would have transferred to the Naval Academy. <laughs> I mean, anything goes now. This is Weaver at the line. They got McCormick with his first. Elijah Weaver, 14 points on the second half. In the win against Miami, including four three-pointers. He's a veteran player, played at Southern Cal, as I said earlier. Transferred to Dayton. Dayton's got such a terrific fan base. You ready for this? They're sold out every game this year. You cannot walk up there and get a ticket. Now, boom, you can get one, but the average fan ain't getting a ticket up there. I don't know if I can. I don't, think, you, I don't think I can get one. Brown inside, lays it in left hand. Christian Brown with four. And we'll give me a ticket because I went up and I danced after we beat that Dayton Flyer team with Mr. Paxson and Johnny Davis and Eric Giddings. Uh, Don Donner was some great coach. I hope he's watching right. Love you, Don. You did a great job at that Dayton sideline. Weaver lost the handle. Loose ball, Holmes. And then a kick out, Kamara, which score the basket. Score it. Score the goal. Goal 10, McCormick. That's the first bucket in five minutes. At least he was aggressive. So they see full court pressure. This is a little concern of Bill. He said, you know, we haven't seen a whole lot of pressure this year, except in practice among us. And he said, they come after you. They did a great job against Miami yesterday with their press team. Yeah, they were looking for a way to just get some offense. McCormick fade away. In and out. Why don't you shoot that little fade away with his size advantage? He's got to turn and go to the goal. He's got to go to the goal. Go to the back. Kamara lost the handle. Back out Malachi Smith, their prize freshman. 
14.7 assists, no turnovers against Miami. Yeah, that's a pretty good job as a point guard. Very efficient. And now it's Harris. A turnover for Dayton Martin from way deep. Loose ball and Brown tracks it down. Now a three. I mean, there's no question the talent level is on the side of Kansas. These kids are playing hard, though, when you look at the young kids right here from Dayton. Pretty nice move by Elijah Weaver there for the deuce. Yeah, he went through a strong hand, which is the left hand, and taking that ball to the goal. Oh, Dayton Flyer fans, I love it. They love the effort they're seeing. Look at this pressure from the defense. Yeah, kids are playing their hearts out. La Brown taps oh, it in. La Brown with a little tip, a little touch, a little finger touch. When you try to tap that ball in, you use those fingers. You don't use the palm of the hand. I've seen you shoot those free throws. <laughs> I've seen you. Those were days ago, man. 82, I'm not shooting any jumpers. Holmes inside. They get the block. And a foul on DeWan Harris Jr. Good take a look right here at Brown. There he is. To see. Good fingertips. Just touch. It's a nice soft touch when you get on those fingertips. Almost just able to guide it in. I tell you one thing, you look at that Big 12 right now, everybody's got Kansas, you know, right now, preseason, they're number four in the country at this moment. You better watch out for Baylor. Wow. Baylor's for real. I watch him today, it's a Michigan State team, and I'll tell you, Scott Drew, stock going up and up. Not like my stocks today, I don't know about yours. The stock market went downtown, over a thousand points down. I lost a lot of cash today, boo, help me out, help me out. I got to do a lot more games. <laughs> you guys thought you were tuned in to CNBC, right? Oh, yeah. geez. I know that Baylor team is really tough. And you look at certainly the Big 12 will be tough again. Texas is going to get better and better because they're too talented. Yeah. I know you sort of get blown out by Gonzaga. But Gonzaga's going to blow a lot of people out. <laughs> Jalen Coleman lands into the game, the Iowa State transfer for Kansas. Pettiford gives off, and Jalen Wilson is checked in also. Jalen Wilson will be a special player for them as the year progresses. Metric player came back and suspended for three games in DUI situation. Got to make good decisions, young people out there. Got to make good decisions. Got a little drink or two, get a friend to drive. Don't get behind that wheel. Shot clock winding down, Harris, Wilson, shot clock expiring. Lightfoot trying to tip it out. Mustafa Amsil is checked in for Dayton. He bears watching. Weaver inside. And off of Kansas, it'll stay with Dayton. Good rotation on the weak side defensively by Kansas to take away and deflect that ball. Anthony Grant coaching down there at Dayton. He's got a real good resume. Anthony worked on the Billy Donovan for years. He's part of those teams winning national titles. It's also cool he gets a chance to coach at his alma mater. So it's, yeah. you know, super personal for him. And two years ago, these clubs played two years ago. It was unbelievable. Out of Maui. What a match. Bill Self was telling me today. What a matchup that was with Toppin and company with the Flyers. They got beat in an overtime, unbelievable game. And it was only one of two losses they had all year. They lost overtime also to Colorado. And that was it. And that team would have been really a tough out for people in the NCAA tournament if they had the tournament. Sissoko left hand, that'll go. Move by Sissoko with the ball. Nice play by Sissoko on the interior. And here's some of that pressure and they from come the after Flyers. You. They're coming after you. They're going to get better and better and be much more of a factor in the Atlanta 10 than your early record shows. Pettiford turns the corner at the free throw line. They move the ball, and now Coleman lands. Shot clock under 10. Lightfoot buries a jumper. Nice bench there, deep team. That was the area. Was Lightfoot, an experienced player. Bill Self told me before the game, I like the depth of this club. I got a lot of versatility. Step back, Kobe Brayan buries it. Kobe Brayan, he has it down. And he goes back like... So what? No big deal. I can do that. <laughs> A little double team. Trapping the basketball. 
Dayton has some length. I mean, you're talking about a bunch of guys six six and above that are active. Lightfoot off the mark. And here I'm, comes Malachi Smith. I'm impressed with your effort. I am impressed with the effort on the court, especially on a defensive end. It's hard to believe for me, but I look at some of the losses early. I mean, they got beat by teams that just really aren't what you call marquee teams. Yeah, lost to UMass Lowell, Lipscomb, Austin P. Yeah, UMass Lowell. They didn't lose to UMass. Under oh, the yeah. Hey, so give I myself a couple of chances. You sort of picture those beautiful young kids yeah. lost their lives so early. My heart breaks for them and what their parents have gone through. Rhea gives off on the baseline. It's Greer, and he turns it over. Wilson on the move. Fourth turnover for the Flyers. Wilson hanging. Contact. No foul. McCormick tracks it down. Martin, baseline jumper. Got it. That's what he can do, my friend. What Chris talked about. He has a ability to score. He really has scorer's ability. Rated by many as one of the most impact transfers. Yeah, Marcus Carr at Texas, another. Brea, jumper, got it. And what is this guy? Brea, look at the way he turns around his back. He makes like Kobe Bryant when he goes back. Because when Kobe shot it, he knew he was going to go down. I like his first two. So much confidence. Abaji trying to dodge Sissoko and not charge and ended up picking up the contact. That's pretty good body control from Ochai Abaji is he had to get around the big guy. He's going to have one heck of a year as we've seen him start already. Watch the way this guy releases the ball. Look at that. That is from unbelievable downtown. He had to shot that from uh, my house in Sarasota. When you talk about guys with height, one of the greatest New York City high school recruits ever, Kobe Bray is the godson of Felipe Lopez. Oh, is he? Oh, wow. Lopez was a name. Unreal coming out, going to St. John's. I got Howie Schwab. There's a lot of research in these. going to be a cloud high because we got you St. John's. Yeah. So here's Greer handling. Uh, and Brown the takeaway. Can't turn it over. Christian Brown the throw down. He's got a nice little first half so far, Mr. Brown. He's got eight and coming off a 16-point effort in a win against North Texas. North Texas, a little basketball team. Last year, they were in the NCAA tournament, and they beat Purdue. First win they ever had in NCAA action. Um, Seal gets the foul. I was impressed with the way Grant McCaslin handled his team. Hey, you talked about Scott Drew. You want to talk about some kindness. Grant McCaslin was on the bench with Scott Drew for like five years. Scott Drew gave him a championship. Wow. Well, he's a classy guy, Scott. Scott is going to be one of our honored guests at my gala this year. We're going to honor uh, at that time Keyshawn Johnson, outstanding former football player with the Bucks NFL, works on ESPN radio. He's going to be honored. And it's long also. Look at the class right here, break down 12 freshmen. Unbelievable. That's COVID freshmen, meaning that they got the extra year granted to them. I mean, that's a that's a young basketball team. This but, kid at the line is talented, a redshirt freshman himself. Sorry. Yeah. And we're also going to be honoring. Scott Drew is one of the honorees, national championship coach, and they love tennis where we live down there in Sarasota. It's at the Ritz Carlton, and we got the legend, the icon in tennis, Chris Everett. That's awesome. And then we're going to give a special award out to some of you know. John Saunders' award is going to go to Rod Gilmore for his courageous battle against cancer, one of our colleagues. I mean, May 6th. Here's Anthony Grant, and of course, head coach at Dayton, fifth year at Dayton, six years in Alabama, spent three at VCU, and played at Dayton, as mentioned. Davis on Alabama, and certainly he had some good moments there down in Alabama. Tell you one thing, they got a good basketball team. I only won that game this thing, but Alabama's a very good team. Wilson gathers it in, tried to lay it in, he's fouled, and he'll go to the line. 29 to go here first half John Shelby and Dick Vitale and Kansas leads by eight
And by the way, coming up tonight, we got the Continental Tire Challenge. It features number five, Duke, number one, Gonzaga T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. 10.30 Eastern, 7.30 Pacific on ESPN and the app. One app, one tap. What's your take on that match? Well, my take is this. You know, in two marquee matchups that Gonzaga's had, they have risen to the occasion and have been brilliant. Texas, the game you did and the game I did, certainly they were unbelievable against UCLA. Can they go now three for three? Duke presents some challenges. I think a key player tonight in that game is going to be the big guy for Duke, Mark Williams, on the inside. He's going to have to give a plus performance. Because I think Mandero, if you think about Keels, those guys are going to be ready. And Wendell Moore has really, really improved as a player. It's going to be a battle. You've got Dan Schumann, Jay Billis. I'm sure they're excited to talk about it. And I know I'll be watching. Schumann and Billis, I've heard of those guys. And then I'm mad. <laughs> a Baji ball fake. Now, a little. So a little zone here. So a little zone defense right now. Good rotation. So they change it up defensively. McCormick. Inside, outside. Got to right? get something. Shot clock winding down, and it's a shot clock violation. I tell you what, the defensive adjustment there really bothered Kansas. And Bill wasn't happy with the way they attacked that zone. That's the Jayhawks' first turnover. Dayton, meanwhile, has turned it over six times. Kai Smith back in the game for the Flyers. Weaver hangs, and he gets fouled. Elijah Weaver will go to the line. Oh, good attacking drive right there by Weaver. Well, you know, I felt so bad for the Dayton fans, and most of all, their players, two years ago because of COVID, that they couldn't compete in the NCAA tournament. That was a special, special team. Well, they were on the verge of getting a one seed. Which yeah, absolutely. Pretty, you know, these days is... Uh, you know, the one seed is non-Gonzaga. It's usually the the realm of, of Power 5 conferences. That was, they were just terrific all year long. Yeah, 29 and 2. Most wins in history. You mentioned Obi Toppin and Anthony Grant won coach of the year. The two losses to Kansas and to Colorado. Both in overtime. <laughs> Both in overtime. That's how close they were to perfection. And they really were legit, too. There is no question about it. That Kansas Dayton game in Maui was one of the better games of, of the, the year. year. Absolutely. Twenty-four seventeen, Jayhawks. Oh, very active in that defensive front. The pressure they apply. Now they drop out of that pressure. Go back to man to man. Now they're back in the zone. Coach hitting defensively. They're not intimidated by the. Kansas in number four in the nation. You can see that. They're not intimidated at all. Shot clock winding down to Baji. Oh, Off the glass oh, and in. Oh, you know you're having a great year. You know you're having a great year. Bank that baby goes down. Oh, man. Wow. The lead is 10. Smith puts it on the floor, feed inside Kamara, and that'll go. It felt like the other day when Dayton was really successful offensively, the ball was in Malachi Smith's hands a lot. Yeah, he did a great job. He got, game, got the ball around. They made 11 threes in that game as well. Abaji in transition. This is Malachi Smith. He's quick. Freshman He's quick. speeding up ahead. City, and he's in the city. He's in the city. He's in the city. He's in the Well, they're within six. Malachi Smith. So far in this one, with a couple of points and three assists from St. Really, Raymond's in New York City. They've had some great players there over the years. I like the way they really come after you pressure-wise. Out here to match it up, a little defensive zone. I'm going to tell you what, this is a better team than those first three games in the game. Yeah. Zach Clements has checked in. And he tracks down the rebound, the freshman. Jalen Coleman lands, can't hit the rebound. Colby Brea and Dayton looking to chip away at a six-point deficit. Yeah, I think Bill would like to see more, a little more patience on offense. Shot those threes off pretty quick. See, too many turnovers. Three on one, you got to make the pass. Good play. Harris high off the glass. Seven turnovers for Dayton. Yeah. Turnovers that really led to baskets, and those are really tough, tough turnovers right there. But great job by... 
execution transition three on one a little wider than 15 feet as they go through up the court the two weak players Brea can't hit that time Kansas has 11 points off oh, Dayton turnovers Abaji catch and shoot and Brown who's had a good first half tracks down the board Clements three oh, off man. the glass and in he smiles and Bill Self shakes his head. The bank is open, as Timmy B used to say when he worked with him. The bank is open, man, on Friday. The bank is never open the Friday after Thanksgiving. Yeah, right. Today it's open. <laughs> they hit two of it today. You ready, Zach? Next five minutes really big to Dayton. If they go on a spurt, they can break this open, Dayton. Oh, wow. Brea, and he wanted the foul, and he said something to Doug Sermons. Fall away, little on the baseline, tough shot by Brea. Abaji aggressively to the hole, he has a dozen. Strong drive by Abaji with that left hand. He wants to get back being number one in the nation's score. He was last night, now he's number three. Beat inside, and they get... Clements on the foul, his first. You know, Anthony told me before the game, he said, you know, Dick, a game like this, we're playing a real high-caliber basketball team in the program. We got a lot of young kids, but we really think it's a great opportunity for our young kids to get a feel, get a feel what really nationally rated basketball is about. And he thinks it's all going to, no matter win or lose, it's going to help them in terms of long term. It's multiple things, right? It's playing against teams at a high level, and then it's also the three games in four days because that's pretty unique. Yep. The, the next time that they will do something like this will be their conference tournament. Right, exactly. Atlantic 10, now you look at St. Bonaventure, it's been outstanding. Coach Schmidt has done one great job, and we got a big following for them back there, and he's Mike DeCarroll, writes for the Post, New York. He's a Bonnie grad, Chris LaPlacker, a fine vice president of ESPN. He loves his Bonnies. Adrian Woja, Woj is absolutely a big Bonnies guy as well. He's certainly an expert what's going on in the NBA. Brown, rejected by Holmes, right side of Baji. Lightfoot tips it, out of bounds. It'll be Dayton basketball. I love kids that play hard. I, I don't look at the scoreboard. I look at the effort. I mean, sometimes, you know, the scoreboard's dictated by sometimes size, quickness, ability, talent. But there's no excuse for not playing hard. If you continue to play hard, a lot of times good things are going to happen in any sport or in anything in life. Always do your best. Blake D. Lightfoot pulls down the rebound. Here comes Martin. Up oh, ahead, nice Abaji. And Abaji running the floor gets fouled by Ansel. He'll go to the line. Really good job by Martin with the pitch up ahead. That was a terrific pass. You beat me to the punch on that. Watch his pass. I mean, he put that baby on the money. Good defense by making him go to the free throw line. Abaji a dozen points, two for two from the line. Now, last year they lost outstanding guard in terms of Garrett. Garrett now playing with, wasn't drafted, but he went and impressed the people at Miami. Pat Riley and company, he's there. Good to hear. Had pretty good honors. Remy Martin, preseason player of the year in the Big 12. I think Abaji probably has as good a chance as anybody in the league to win it. I think he has an excellent chance. He continues like this. I mean, even though he missed two right there, he bricked two free throws. That's not going to sit well with his coach. Double up on a post. He fouled Light. away, no doubt about it. Yeah, Lightfoot came and helped on the double and picks up his second foul. Ninth team foul on Kansas, and Tumani Kamara will go to the line. One thing about Bill, he runs that bench. He uses people off that bench. He's not afraid. Hey, we give you a scholarship. We expect you to be ready to play. I think some coaches, un unbelievable out there. They recruit kids, give kids scholarships, and they don't play. They don't play. I mean, I think if you want to have a great situation in practice, the more you use the bench, the better the practice environment's going to be. So even if it's for a minute or two, and especially when you move by 30 and 40 points and kids don't get in the game, I think that is really sad in the way. I really do. I, I, I don't buy that. 
I don't buy it because to me, those kids bust their back every day in practice, and they should at least get on the floor for a couple of minutes. Kamara and the Flyers down by eight. And it gets another. The lead is down to seven for Kansas. The pressure from Blakely. They keep battling. They keep battling. Looks like Kansas is getting ready to knock them out. And they never look. They just keep that. Oh, wow, wow. Let me go and show why he was such a coveted transfer. Wanted. I mean, the latest thing now is he got free agency in college basketball. Out of bounds. And it'll remain. Tuesday. This Tuesday, I'll be over in uh, Chapel Hill. Two teams that really try to find themselves Carolina and Michigan. Okay. Both defensively got to go. Oh, he got hit. Oh, I could see that with one eye. <laughs> they missed that call. I would have went bananas. Martin charged with that. His second as he landed on the back of Kobe Braves. A little fake. Nothing like a little head fake. Nothing like a little fake. I think he left something on the floor. I wonder what he left on the floor. Wow. Remy, little head fake. Stay down. Don't go with that fake. Two shots for Bray as they are in the double bonus territory. He keeps putting his shoulder. Looks like his shoulder's bothering him a little bit. He keeps grabbing it. He made two long-range threes. Down the free throw line, he's struggling Yeah, a little I bit. think Martin landed on him. I mean, it was kind of like, let me give you a, a piggyback type of foul in that spot. So, this is the first. Misses the wow. second. I think that shoulder really bothered because he didn't look smooth on that release. And he did make it the two threes. It's not been a great free throw shooting first half for either side. No, really struggling. Staying in that zone right now. Very active. Yesifu. Pull up. And count it. Joseph Yesifu, the transfer from Drake with the bucket. And he'll go to the line. You know, Yesmo was one of the best six men in their conference out there, Drake. I think a pitcher with a bunch of Drake players today in a hotel. They got a good team. They lost a tough game. The Belmont was very good. And anybody thinking that Iona, because beating Alabama, will be in the final against the winner of this game, Iona's going to have to come to play because Belmont is pretty good. No doubt. The big guy is real good. He had 31 yesterday. Yesifu knocks it down. Kansas... Six for 11 from the line. Dayton's just nine for 16. So, not a team shooting the lights out from the strike. Yeah, and when you're a club like Dayton trying to get in the game, you got to do everything perfect, the little things. Yeah. Missing free throws is going to really hurt you. Yeah. We said right now, the next couple minutes, I mean, it could be either blow out or get to a respectability. Smith not able to finish. Point blank. There's a tip in, and it's Deron Holmes. I got Holmes right there, the freshman. Good third effort by Dayton. They kept staying with it, battling, battling. So I don't think their effort's going to stop. I mean, the energy they're playing with, playing really hard, little outman personnel-wise, out of experience with the Dayton club versus certainly the Kansas actually has much more experience than the young Dayton team. Yes, a poop from way down town. Kamara. Dayton down 11. Brea launches. And wow. that one off the mark by a lot. Brown the rebound. Too quick? Yeah, I thought it was too quick, but he had to tough to criticize him. He made two like that. Oh, nice move in the baseline. Joseph Yesifu with five. You know, Yesifu was a kid. He was a good, solid player, outstanding player. A good Drake team last year. You come in a game like this, you want to make the most of your minutes to get more minutes. Sure. That's why he shot them a little bit earlier. You come in, you know, I got to do well. I got to do well if I want to get back to that PT playing time. Under the two-minute mark, Smith probing. Had the ball knocked away. Harris. Give it up. Lob. Oh, oh yeah. Brown, look at it. Oh, he gave it up. What a great timing on that. Great timing. They love it. The bench loves him. Remy loves him. And I believe they got Brown with a technical. They did. Yeah, they got with a team. There's a flip off the top. I'm watching this. Raise it up for him. Look at Mr. Brown. 
Nice hanging on the rim, man. No doubt about the T there. How about the T. Tell you what, Dick, I don't, I don't know. He had Kamara basically right underneath of him. Just the one free throw. Just the jump. So they're now 9 for 17 from yeah, the line. Yeah, you're down 15. You're an underdog, a big underdog. you got to be able to convert those. Wow. So that's what it's for right there. So yeah. I take it back. That's, how you that's what he teed him. Yeah. 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 him for. That's... Yeah. Totally understandable to give him a tip in that spot. Well, the winner, as we said, plays the winner of the Belmont Iona. I'll tell you one thing, people better beat Iona now. Because the third year, I'm telling you right now, Rick Pitino in that third year, watch out. They're going to be one of the mid major powers. Holmes missed, put it in, and the foul. The freshman goes to the line. Good effort right there by the diaper dandy. They got some really good diaper dandies. I hope the people are just patient, patient. I know that the day they used to have it such a winning basketball over the years. It's such a tremendous tradition there. It says Kansas, Kansas traditions off the charts. You don't have to document that. I mean, this kid, it just jumps out at you. You get it. I mean, they did a great job feeding him the other day when he had 15. Well, they beat Miami by 16. Shot 27 from 46 in that game. Made 11 threes. Holmes had 15 points. He had a total of seven points in the previous two games. He had 15. So he shows some potential. And I like the way they defend. Because this team is not easy to defend. Kansas has got a lot of weapons on one way to play here. Nice little bounce pass for drive on the baseline. Abaji draws contact on the baseline. And they get Elijah Weaver with his second. So Abaji to the line. 106 to go here in the first half at semifinal number one or second semifinal. Coming up tonight, 6.30 Eastern at ESPNU. It'll be Belmont and Iona. I plan on coming back for that game to watch it. I'm going to plan on coming back. I'm going to tell my wife now. So I'm putting dinner off. I'm going to go watch some mess. We're going to see the Iona team and Belmont team. <laughs> hope she buys into it. So this is the first time that she is being made aware that she's coming back for Belmont. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Before I met my wife, this is a true story. We married her 50 years. She had never seen a sporting event. Wow. Never seen a sporting event. Since then, she's seen quite a few. Yeah, a few. And she's going to add Belmont and Iona to her list tonight. Shot clock winding down. Kamara hanging off the glass. Rattles at home. Jumani Kamara. Nice shot. Yeah, he's a good player. Came out of Georgia. Got three lost some key players. Anthony Grant recruited him out of high school. He ended up at, at Georgia. Been a really good atmosphere. Both the Kansas fans and the Dayton fans in the first half. I appreciate really. I realize how good Kansas is. And I appreciate the effort by the kids from Dayton. Just a battle of battle. Yes, if we off the mark. Rebound tracked down by Brea. And now it's Malachi Smith. Well, get to the single digits. Somebody, coach, get to the single digits. Smith, shake and bake, hoist, and can't hit. Will Self's team. Oh, two factors right there. Number one, you talk about the turnover situation. Certainly favors Kansas big time. But also the free throw line. Not making their free throws, yep. Dayton. And yet they're only down 10. Only down 10 because the effort has been supreme by them in trying to challenge this outstanding Kansas team. Yeah, Bill Self said it to Chris Patola. He really complimented Anthony Grant's team for how hard they've competed, and we've seen it. I've seen it here. We've been talking about it through the entire first half. Really very impressive. The work ethic, the drive, the desire they have. Kamara, size advantage, spins inside, puts it up, and in. That's a really nice move. That was a big time move. That's a move you see at the next level. That's the move you see all the Giants do, the superstars. Greatest athletes of all in any sport.
are playing in the NBA. You talk about agility, mobility, not fragile, no fragility. Well, it's one of the things with Dayton. You, you know, you look at these guys. They got some some length with their group. As Kamara comes in, swats it out of bounds. But I mean, Tamari Kamara goes 6'8", 220. That good size. Look at this agility. Great spin move right there. Very mobile. He played in the SEC. He played against real big time competition. He's not intimidated by anyone. Harris, Lob, McCormick, able to put it in. David McCormick with the deuce. He's got three, and Kansas back on top by ten. See, he's the key whether or not Kansas is has a great year or a very good year. For him, he has to start giving post presence to the club. He puts that on add to better spacing for the better shots on the perimeter. But he's got to elevate his game. Because their level of competition is not about just getting in the NCAA tournament. It's about winning the NCAA championship. And there's that fight that we talked about from Dayton as Blakeney stepped in. And ended up ripping it away from Abaji, who ultimately gets charged with the foul. The Kansas fans don't like it. A battle right here. They want to jump ball right there. They want to jump ball. A little late on a whistle. Yeah, when the whistle finally blew, though, it was Abaji hooking his arm. Yep. But I understand what the Kansas fans wanted prior to that. Played a strong defensive player for Dayton. Very strong on the defensive end. That one tipped away. There's Kansas one of those the other way. See, Up ahead, Martin puts it in. As you said earlier, John, their turnovers are live turnovers that lead to point production. That's 15 now points they got off turnovers. Blakey at the basket and puts it in. Blakey says, hey, could you be talking about me being a good defensive player? I got some offensive ability as well. Did he really say that, John? <laughs> <laughs> Abaji. McCormick with the freshman Holmes on it. I believe Doug Sermons gets Deron Holmes with his first. Well, that's the point of emphasis. They really emphasize that this year. They do it every year. Some referees let it go. So it was Doug follows the book. And that was a good call. Definitely fucked them. He's gonna attack. He's gonna attack. He wanted to be more aggressive than McCormick. He's got talent. Brown inside left hand wouldn't go. Tip from McCormick wouldn't go. And here's Smith. Weaver in transition. And three goes down in the lead. is seven. Nice little play right there. And he ran through the little dance on that sideline. Wow, nice play right there by Smith. Certainly finding Weaver, an experienced player. Oh, get an offensive. Get a foul right here. Smith does a good job defensively. I mean, they're not quit. There's no quit, these kids. I still don't understand, watching what I'm watching here today, that this time lost to Massachusetts Lowell, lost to Lipscomb, and lost the third one as well, Austin P. All at home. At home. Yeah, the elbow right there. Now, Dewan Harris elbowed him in the chin, and Smith absorbs the contact. Dayton with the ball down seven, and the Flyer fans making noise. They have been great. Kamar, a couple of ball fakes. Finally able to put it up and in. They showed a lot of poise right there. Poise, patience, let the points, the three Ps. Poise, patience, and some points. Wow, I discovered a new one, the three Ps. And that one out of bounds. That's like your next level version of a PTP, right? Yeah. Only it's a PPP. I'm going to tell you something. I'm really impressed, as Bill said to Chris on the sideline when he interviewed him. You know, the effort by these kids has been really special when you look at Dayton. I mean, a lot of people, including me, I had all my stuff here thinking about we, I have to be honest with you, based on the scores we saw earlier this year, I thought we're looking at Blowout City. Right now, a five point game, Abaji at the strike. John Chambi, Dick Vitale, Chris Patola here from the field house. He's got a better job on the free throw. That's the third one I remember he's missed. Yeah, he's three of seven from the line. There's four. I missed one. Now he makes it a baseball. Three out of seven with the whole thing. So they just got to 
a lane violation. They waved that one off. They huh? did. Wow. So the lane violation on McCormick. He comes out of the game. And the lead for Kansas is still five. He's got a good handle on this kid. He's got a real good handle. Nice pass. There it is. And Holmes throws it down. This team ain't going away. You're going to call your friends. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. Good, uh, good balance. Good balance. Mara, Holmes, Weaver, Brea. All with eight or more. And then Grant's thinking right now, we want no moral victory. We want the W. I don't want no moral victory. Lightfoot. Trying to find Wilson. Instead, they turn it over. Smith, Weaver to tie it. Oh, wow. Look at the frustration on this up's face. He's going to the bench. He's not a happy camper. He is not a happy camper. And these kids right now, the effort, the effort by the kids in Dayton has been much stronger than the effort we've seen out of Kansas in terms of just playing hard. I think they might have... You know, looked at the stats, look at the sheets. And, come on, now this team lost to Lipska. The low, they're going to play us. Come on. This Kansas lead, and yet Kansas just 7 for 15 from the free throw strike. Wow. You take a look at Bill on the sideline, and I've been around him a long time. His face tells me a big story. Total frustration, not happy at all with the kind of effort that he's getting. Look, look at him. That, come on. He's really much more fired up. But that is a really outstanding, well-coached basketball team. But really comes down to playing with some passion and feeling, representing that jersey and all the greatness that that jersey has had over the years. Okay. You're going to come to play no matter who you play. You're always going to get everybody's best shot. Inside throwdown. Holmes with the deuce and Dayton. First lead of the game for the Flyers. Cannot believe it. I am stunned. I am shocked to me. Based on looking at the records. So you throw the records out. It's a new day. Play hoops. And they better get their game together. This is Dayton. Team is starting to believe. Harris lost the handle. Dayton the other way. And now it's Smith. Yeah. Outscoring Kansas. 16-5 in the oh, second half. Oh, what a nice pass. Oh, they better get a T.O., baby. They need a timeout. They got to get really good. And they know... They got Malachi Smith with the foul. That's his third. And I think Remy Martin might have just baited him into a little foul or maybe baited the refs into one because Remy Martin was smiling. They switch Smith on ground down. Dayton by three. Lob. Nice play. The nice play right there. I bet they talked a little about that in the timeout. That's and then he uses... The springs, the athleticism, and that close-in game to score. And he does a good job moving without the ball. You know, I said earlier, prior two games, he had a total of seven points. And it wasn't against teams like he's facing here. They got Malachi Smith with the foul. That's his third. And I think Remy Martin might have just baited him into a little foul or... He baited the refs into one because Remy Martin was smiling. They switch Smith on ground down. Dayton by three. Lob. Nice play. Corner. Nice play right there. I bet they talked a little about that in the timeout. That's Kansas execution. Now you're going to see the real Kansas. Back against the wall. They're going to raise their game like you cannot believe. And you're going to play with that same commitment for the entire game. Can't give people the confidence. You can just see the Kansas kids sticking in a lot better now than they did earlier. But a mismatch down there. They're going to mismatch. Shot clock under 10. He's got big size. Oh, oh, charge. Charge. The little guy won the battle. Mr. Martin won the battle with the big guy. 10 turnover. As they get Tamani Kamara with the offensive foul. As Kamara trying to take advantage of size against Mr. Martin. To the contact. I like players that play on both sides. And Martin does. Offense, defense. I think you're going to see a real 
run by Kansas. I really do. I feel used by the body language. Wilson turns it over. Back to Dayton. Fourth turnover on the Jayhawks. I was right there, wasn't I? <laughs> Jeez, unbelievable. I think two of the things that are surprising about this game, like inside of the fact that Dayton is leading, Dayton is leading, and Kansas has only turned it over four times. Exactly. And Kansas led by as many as 15. You figure in that spot that, you know, maybe Dayton would just go away, and they just didn't. No, they didn't quit. Talking about it early. Their effort from the moment the game started to now has been supreme. Brea with Braun on him. Now Kamara. And the live turnover score by Kansas has been for, big for them. Bob inside. Kamara puts it in. Smart basketball. That's an Evan Emmer. Mismatch size-wise. Rotates inside. Takes advantage of it. And they got these kids from Dayton really believe it now they can win. Abaji inside. Just a little too quick to the goal. Ochai Abaji with 15. Well, that's where you have a star player for. When your back's against the wall, the star's got to rise and really carry you. That's what Abaji did there. And Holmes throws it away. The next turnover is hurt. Hurt him more if it was a live turnover, which they had a number of those in the first half. 11 turnovers on Dayton. 55-54, Anthony Grant's team giving Kansas all they can handle. Under 13 to go, second half. John Chambi, Dick Vitale, Chris Spatola here from the field house. Wilson, jumper, too strong. Rebound of Baji, gets it to Martin. What a long rebound right there. Nice cut without the ball. Nice yeah. cut without the ball. Brown reverses it for the deuce. Well, good high pass from the high post out of McCormick. And Brown, good movement without the basketball, gets the conversion. Bray wide open. Out of bounds, what do we have? Stays, stays with uh, Dayton. Hey, we talked about two years ago these teams played. It was an overtime game, huh? Maui. Yeah. Two great teams at that time. Toppins team, only one of their two losses they had, those Flyers. Maybe we got another one here. It's going to go like that to the wire. Feed inside. Holmes kicks it out. Blakeney gets bumped. And a foul on Kansas. And a third on David McCormick. So 12-0-3, that bears watching. Inside, good find, Bray of the deuce with the left hand. Just too easy. Yeah. Break down defensively, no communication, they get themselves a layup. Oh, I've got a score here. McCormick in close, lost his footing, left hand, wouldn't go. Wow, came up with nothing out of that possession. And then he fouled number four. Oh, they pulled out. Did he pull a foul? At that time, for the lost season with Dick Loops Weiss, it was all about the fact we thought that you looked at Dayton, you looked at Florida State, those teams have really had a great chance to win that title. Turnover by Greer. Too many turnovers. Greer's dad, by the way, is won't. Second all-time lead in the square play for the great John Cheney at Temple. Martin gets fouled, couldn't finish, and he'll go to the line, and we'll see if Kansas can get something going from the free throw line. Well, shooting 50% right now in the free throw line. Boom, they're eight for 16. Very hard to shoot it Martin with his first, can't hit. Well, it's rivalry weekend at college football. We'll cap our Saturday triple header on ABC. It's the 116th edition of Bedlam. Number 10, Oklahoma. Number 7, Oklahoma State. It's at 7.30 Eastern on ABC and the ESPN app. One app, one tap. Martin hits one out of two, and we are tied at 57. 11.20 to go here, second half. John Chomby, Dick Vitale, Chris Patola from the field house. Disney's Wide World of Sports. Quality shot so important now you get to the last 10 minutes of the game, especially the tie game. Shot selection big, free throw line becomes big.
Brea with the shot clock winding down. Brea misses everything. Blakeney tries to save. It'll be a shot clock violation. Kansas basketball. Now really not a good possession right there by Payton. Not a quality kind of possession that they would like to get the good shot. Yeah, they've struggled when Malachi Smith is not on the floor. And so Anthony Grant subbing him back in. He's got three fouls, right, John? And Malachi Smith with three, correct. Is that full court pressure? Bill told me before the game, it's going to be interesting to see how we play against pressure. Haven't faced much of it. Jalen Wilson's a guy that helps them break that pressure. Another ball handler, even though he's got size, he also shoots well. The it's rebounder. Gonna, gonna take Wilson a little time after just coming back. There's Martin with a big shot. I mean, Martin with 13 as he hits that jump shot. Side to side, a good movement. Blakeney hanging, couldn't hit, loose ball. Blakeney has it again. And it's out of bounds, and it'll stay with Dayton, 18 on the shot clock. I am really impressed how hard and how tenacious they are on every possession. No they, doubt. Unbelievable. They really play with such unbelievable feeling. Oh, you got a foul inside, Martin. No question. No question. That's seven front on the call. So they get Remy Martin with his third. He said, Me, I didn't do anything. <laughs> Remy, does a player ever commit a foul? Yeah. Last time Dayton beat a top five team was 1984. Brea, left hand, rolls oh. out. Sissoko can't put it back. Two opportunities, and two chances. Brown lost the handle. And now it's Smith the other way. Good Malachi. Oh, my goodness, the quickness. Oh, Malachi oh, Smith. Oh, there he is, baby. The New York City young guy. His brother is cheering like crazy. He's usually playing on great Archie Miller teams. Archie can coach. I don't care what happened in Indiana. He can coach. Here we go. Look at this kid. Look at that. Uh -oh, Ray uh -oh. from Smith. So Soko tracks down a rebound. Just that's out hustling, big. Kansas. Out hustling, out scrapping them. Come on, that's not a Bill Self basketball team. Look at this kid here, right here. Go right to the goal. Good step. We came over the top of the front foot of Babaji to get in the interior so he can make that shot happen. See Coach Townsend there, fine assistant coach next to Bill. Good goal, can say standing up now. It's going to be some concern on that sideline. Tied up 59 apiece. Coach Roberts, former St. John's coach. Assistant. Smith, jumper, got him. Wow, how valuable is the to this team? Played great yesterday against Miami. Abaji the other end. There's he ties it right back up. He's doing his part. He's got to get a little help from his friends. Abaji with 17. I think they'll be an All-American this year. First team All-American to play like this. Dotson, by the way, you mentioned. Former star. He was here yesterday playing with the Chicago Bulls now. Smith weaving through traffic. Scoops oh, wow. it up and in. Look at this guy. Wow. wow. Look at the star is born in the Dayton uniform. Mr. Smith. You Dayton fans are going to have a little excitement, fellow, with this little guy. He's, he's a, got eight. He is something else. He's exciting to watch. Inside Wilson and Brea bounds of Dayton by two. Ladies and gentlemen, Malachi Smith. They got to get some play out of Wilson. It's take him a little time because he's just first action of the year was yesterday. New York City in the house. Yes, sir. Holy cow. Well, you think about New York City cards, I think my head goes immediately. Mark Jackson, yeah. St. John's, one of our great guys with certainly Van Gundy and Mike Green on the NBA telecast. I think about Kenny Smith. Yep. I mean, that trio down there is unreal. When you think of Shaquille, Barkley, and Kenny, and Ernie Johnson was the quarterback. You think about certainly, what about, oh, we got Kenny, what about Anderson, Kenny Anderson? Kenny Anderson. Kenny Anderson was unbelievable Georgia Tech fan. 
All right, Dayton and Kansas, the winner will take on the winner of Belmont and Iona. By the way, Mark Jackson was coached by Rick Pitino, who raved about it as a player. I mean, Kansas, free throw line. 9 for 20 from the free throw That's line. That's not even 50%. I'm going back to my sixth grade teaching class, teaching math. That's not even 50%. Dick Vitale here, come for the basketball, stay for the math. Oh, Alicia wow. Weaver. They believe it, man. They are starting to believe. Call your friends up. This could be upset of the year right here. I mean upset of the year if it were to happen. Bigger than Iona beating Alabama. Iona was 5-0. Iona was a pretty good basketball team. This team came in with no resume at all, basically. Losing three games at home. Coleman Lance can't hit. Sissoko grabbed it. Might have gone over the back. Oh, I can just see the frustration out of Bill on that side. Of Smith had it knocked away. Right. Sissoko yeah, yeah. puts it in. They need that time out, man. They didn't settle down. They're going to get settled down. They're down seven. This is getting out of crucial time. They believe. With every step of the way, you see these kids believe it. I'm telling you, it's been a shock of the year. Be the shock of the year. Wilson can't hit. Smith pulls it down under seven to go, and the lead is seven. I'm um, seal. It's a 7 0 run. Put it in perspective. They lost at home, as John said. The guy moved. Massachusetts lower. They lost at home to Austin P. They lost at home to Lipscomb. And they're playing the 14th in the nation on a neutral site. And they're up seven with six minutes to go. It'll be the longest six minutes for him right now for Coach Grant. The longest six minutes for Coach Grant. Watching that clock. Christian Brown ends the drought. He's got 15. He's done a nice job basically the first half. Played really well. He fits us to step up for Kansas. They can't allow him some easy baskets on the interior. And they turn it over. 14. We have not seen it here, but one of the reasons we haven't seen it is because of the effort and the unbelievable energy, enthusiasm, and the excitement that the Dayton Flyers have really taken this game. Two great fan bases that have traveled and turn this into an amazing atmosphere here at the field house yeah two of the best fan bases you can find certainly yeah. long in kentucky obviously you got the most passionate fans in the world that's just unbelievable every possession now get bigger and bigger for the jayhawks abaji wide open and that rolls out Loose ball tipped out of bounds dayton basketball but i know for anthony grant He's not going to want Ochai Abaji shooting a three that wide open. Wide open, yeah. No, he's wide open. It's a good shot, certainly, by the Jayhawks in that possession. Neither team has shot it great from three. Smith trying to step through. Brown comes up with it. Martin up ahead. Left hand and good. That was the part, problem in the first half. The live ball turnover. And they converted off those live balls. They're back here. Jayhawks down. They were up seven. Remember, they were down 68-61. It's down to three. And yeah, here come the Kansas fans. Can't have those live ball turnovers. Bray has There's it another turnover. Away. There's another one. Can't have that happening. Flip to Abaji, couldn't finish. Brown, he does. Has to get a timeout. He's going to get a timeout right now. There's a T.O. right there, Mr. Grant. Cheering them on. Yeah. Yeah, here they are playing the number four team in the nation. And with four plus on the clock, they are up one. I don't think that Anthony would have ever thought so that would be happening. That's a third turnover in a row, John. Third in a row. The moment's starting to get to him a little bit. The third turnover in a row. Two of them led to layups. Smart move by Martin to back it out. He's a point guard, playing a point guard position, but he's really more of a scorer's mentality. Brown going to work, left hand. McCormick. Oh, you got to score that one. Follow strong. loose ball. Good effort by McCormick, but you got to score right there. That was strong. 
Oh, great oh, look. Nice look. Holmes oh. gets loose. Nice find by Weaver. Weaver with the great look. Veteran player. He's one of the experienced players. Deron Holmes, a freshman with 16. He's wide open for a layup right there. Martin off under four to go. Dayton by three with the basketball. Every possession now becoming bigger and bigger in the case of Dayton. Right now, take a little time off the clock. You're not going to play slow, but you take a little time. Look for that high percentage shot. And you don't want the live ball turnover. Because Dayton will make, make Kansas get him something easy layup. Holmes oh, almost walked. Shot clock down. Weaver from deep. It's a shot clock violation. And the 18th turn. Inside. Let's see if this screen that you talked about something was double guy. This double screen you talked about. Pie. From the corner, Martin. Loose ball, and it ends up with Elijah Weaver. Got to get a better shot than that. I mean, Martin's been struggling a little bit shooting the three. I mean, you're down by three. It's late in the game. Quality shots. Now, you can't be so tentative right now if you certainly did. You have to move the ball. Get some player movement. Be active. Don't just stand around and hope and pray that clock goes out. Kamara almost lost his footing. Shot clock under 10. It's Weaver with Brown on him. Weaver going to work shots. inside. That's a good shot right Holmes, there. Oh. a little short. And a shot clock violation. Had a good shot. 12-footer. And here's another chance for Dayton to get a little, I mean, for right now, Kansas to get a little bit closer. 19 turnovers. And again, as we mentioned, among all teams in Division I, only Arizona with more players classified as freshmen. 12. Yep. Arizona's got 13. Here we go. Abaji inside. A little oh. bit strong. Rebound pulled down. Kamara. Had a chance right there for himself to score. Smith. Kamara. Can't hit. Shot selection, my friend. Shot selection so important. Martin will try. And hits. Nice medium range jump shot right there. Here we go, baby. The last two minutes of the game could be the biggest upset in all of college basketball this year. I can't see one being bigger than this, baby, if it would have happened. Kansas might have other ideas. Oh. Weaver stepped back. Couldn't hit. I can't understand the shots there. Really? You're up one? Come on. Kansas could take the lead right here. Kansas faithful to go really wild. Martin. Now Abaji puts it on the floor. Abaji up and in. And oh, Kansas man. has the lead. All America. All America. Smith oh, hits the goes. handle. Here, we here go. comes Abaji. 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 Kansas looks like they've got a great chance to survive the scare of the year. Time out by Anthony Graham. And now we're going to send some cheer. Yeah, I did it this past so year, and it was bad. And I did, I committed the double sin, bad and slow. All right, here we go. Last minute of the game, baby. Dayton last 11 possessions, one for six, six nope. turnovers. And certainly enough to look for the three here. Get the high percentage shot. Don't panic here. Do what you did all this game. Try with the ball. That's what you do, oh, see? My goodness. Gets inside and spins it home. Malachi Smith with 10. They're going to get the ball back. They're going to get one more shot, Dayton. Here it goes. And Kansas opening it up, but we see Dayton with the ball and a chance to win. Call your friends up, man. You could be seeing the upset of the year. Remember, Kansas has been terrible from the line. Nine of 20. He was born. Offensive oh, foul. Wow. Look at Bill Sun. Bang in the table. Frustrated. Upset. Here it is. Will it be the upset of the year? Call your buddies up. Get the tube on. Here we are. Wow. Dayton. Timeout, Dayton. One point game. Kansas the lead. Fly shoot it. Obviously, Brea and Smith, the guy that'll put it on the floor. They can't turn it over. That's been their biggest problem. The live turnover. 
They get it to Kamara. And now Smith. They're looking for Smith to drive the basketball. They're looking for him to drive the basketball. And there he goes. There he goes. goes. Drive the the basket rejected. They get it back, though. They get it back. Up seal for the win. Oh, they can be winning. Oh, my God. 